morning everybody it's saturday and it is pretty wet and grotty outside um i hope you've all had a good week we've had quite a fun week um after the week before when beastie was really poorly he's kind of been back to his normal self this week so we've just been getting caught back up on things that we couldn't do when he was ill and we were stuck at home with that and the snow um he is completely back to normal now he's got a couple of little marks on his face still but they've just about cleared um and he has not stopped eating all week literally so when he was ill he sort of didn't really eat for like 10 days little bits but not very much so i think this week he's probably make it up for it and he has eaten from the minute he's woken up to the minute he's gone to bed non-stop <laughs> so he's definitely back to his normal self um what have we done this week monday we had one of our home ed meets which this week was at um, an adventure playground we go every other week and it is really really fun we were lucky we had a fire again this time too although it wasn't too cold anyway but it's nice because it's outdoor meet um it's a fantastic it's actually really lucky for us because it's like five minute walk down the road the kids love it there and it's perfect because it's kind of one of the things that really suits all ages sometimes when you've got big variety of ages like I've got from sort of toddlers up to teens it's hard to find sort of a group and activities that suits everybody but this is really fun they can all go off and play and there's usually some of their friends there so they can sort of catch up and a couple of my friends so I can have a chat and catch up and a cup of tea with them while we sat around the fire and the kids were off playing so that was pretty perfect um what else are we on the rest of the week nothing very exciting um we've had a couple of days at home Tuesday and Thursday we like home days just getting caught up on some sort of homeschooly stuff and a little bit of my work and that sort of thing. Tuesday I took the kids out for treats. There's a place called Casper's in town that do desserts, so they're like um ice cream sundaes and waffles and crepes and things like that. And I've been meaning to take them for a while, so we finally got round to going. It was a bit of a cold wet day and I thought it was a nice treat from having been ill and snowed in last week. So they went there um and they had these insane <laughs> ice cream sundaes that were huge um Lola actually opted for a milkshake she had like a Mars bar chocolate ice cream milkshake thing uh Beastie and Kiki both had this like Oreo chocolate ice cream sundae which was huge and then Bea had I don't know what it was called but it was like this giant chocolate ice cream sundae thing with caramel ice cream I think as well and it was like some of it was in like a little chocolate cup and a wafer cup and it was just huge um and thankfully they did sorbets too, so I had some raspberry sorbet, so I could have something that was dairy free to join in the fun. Um, Wednesday, the three little ones were out with their dad, so I popped to town quickly to do a couple of jobs because I had to go meet my tattoo artist just for a quick chat on what I'm getting done next. And I managed to do a little bit of birthday shopping ready for Bayer's birthday while I was out on my own. Um, and then I came home and I spent probably about four hours just working on my book I kind of said to myself I was up to date with work pretty much so I said that right I'm having this day is just a writing day which is really good because I kind of don't very often get really big chunks of time so it was great just to have a nice wedge of time all in one go when I could just sit and write so I got absolutely loads done so I was feeling really really pleased with that and how it's coming on um as I said Thursday was just kind of a stay at home catch up on work sort of day and then yesterday, which was Friday, we went to Liverpool for the day. I bought tickets a while ago to watch some gymnastics. They were doing the British Gymnastics Championships. So Liverpool's really close for us for a day out. It's only sort of like about an hour and a half on the train. Um, and obviously Kiki and Bayer do loads of gymnastics and really, really love it. So I knew that they'd be excited. So we saw yesterday there were junior women's and boys doing their... Um, doing their part of the competition I think it's like a three or four day competition so yesterday it was like the girls were like 14 and 15 year olds I think and the boys I presume the boys were a similar sort of age um, we just watched the first subdivision because there was like two subdivisions for the day and then the judging the award sorry at the night but that would have been like eight or nine hours of sitting there and a new beastie wouldn't be up for that and took Lola who's not massively into gym um, and to be fair, by the time we'd watched the first subdivision of like sort of three hours of actual gym, even sort of Kiki and Bayo probably had had enough. It was long enough, but it was really interesting just to watch sort of a higher level gymnastics. And I think they really enjoyed it. Um, and we managed to sneak an hour at the docks first before we went for Beastie because he's been asking for the last couple of weeks since we went to go for a little walk on the docks. Although he's a little bit sad because the pirate ship he likes going on wasn't open when we were there first thing in the morning. And we didn't have time later on to stop. 
So that was kind of all. We, we haven't, well, we have done exciting things, but it's just been a fairly normal sort of week. Um, I've just spent the morning with Bea taking some photos and doing a couple of photo shoots because it's always fun to play dress up and take pictures, especially when it's wet and cold and miserable outside. Um, so I'm about to go and make everybody some lunch. Well, four of us on lunch because Lola is at her drama class right now doing some rehearsals for the play that she and Kiki are doing. So I'm going to have some lunch in a moment and then I think I've got a friend and her two little girls come in for a play for a couple of hours. Um, and then I'm hoping this afternoon to maybe put a nice movie on so we can sit and watch a movie together and I can maybe do some editing of some photographs that we've taken. Um, and tomorrow is obviously it's Mother's Day so I'm hoping that I may get some treats. I don't know, I'm not expecting breakfast in bed or laying. But um, the little three are seeing their dad for a couple of hours because it's the only day this weekend he was free. Um, which gives me a couple of peaceful hours on Mother's Day which is quite appreciated. So it'll just be Lola and I. So we haven't decided yet, probably be weather dependent, if it is wet and horrible like it is today then we might just stay home and watch a movie together but if it's a little bit nicer then we might go for a walk and grab a coffee and a cake somewhere um and then once the kids are all back in the afternoon we are going to have something yummy to eat and probably watch some movies and play some games i think we're going to take a walk to m s or somewhere later and just be really lazy and buy some delicious ready meals to throw in the oven which is something that we don't really do very often but I don't feel like cooking and saves anybody else having to try to cook a fancy meal for us. So I thought that's what we'd do. Although we might go to Tesco's actually because I know the, thing, the little ones want pizza and I haven't tried the Wicked Kitchen vegan pizzas that they've got in Tesco's yet. So I might actually just have one of those tomorrow and we'll have like a pizza and movie afternoon which sounds pretty good to me. Um, sounds like a good Mother's Day. So that is kind of a little catch up. There are a couple of new vlogs on my channel this week if you haven't seen them I will put links at the end of this one there was one on the books that I read in February and the other one was um a catch-up on my goals month two catch-up on my 2018 goals so pop over and watch those if you haven't seen them already there were several new posts on my blog this week as well including yesterday's post which was for some really really tasty banana breakfast bars that are just made from bananas quinoa and oats and they're really yummy and they're great for just like a breakfast on the go um and i hope you've had a really good week and i shall see you again soon bye bye <music>